Hi, my name is Ray at Water Heaters Now, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to properly pipe a water heater, um, two water heaters together in tandem. So what we have is two 50-gallon electric Bradford Whites, and this homeowner has a large whirlpool, so they need 100 gallons to fill the whirlpool and have other showering and things that they want to do all at the same time. So what I want you to notice, this is the cove inlet pipe that would normally come to one heater. So it's important that it comes to a bullnose T and travels both directions the same distance and then vertically goes the same distance into each water heater. That's important for resistance and to balance both water heaters so that they fill equally. Just the same on the hot outlet side, we need the same rise vertically and the same distance horizontally until they feed together to go up a pipe. If you do it exactly like this, the heaters will be balanced and they'll fill equally and they'll disperse hot water to the house equally. Now, for example, the wrong way to do this would be to bring the cold water into one heater, bring it out of the hot into the cold in the next heater, and then out of that hot. We see a lot of people do it that way, but it's wrong. It'll cut the life of your water heaters in half. And for so many hydronic science reasons, it's really wrong. This is the right way to do it. If you need to put two water heaters together in tandem, this is how you want to do it. So thanks for watching.